you have got something incredibly delicious to wolf down and enjoy. In this video, we're gonna show you a recipe for an Anduja patty melt. A patty melt is basically what happens when the worlds of burger and toasted cheese sandwich come together. It's delicious, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our patty. I've got 150 grams of beef mince here. This is kind of 15% fat and 50 grams of Anduja sausage. So if you haven't come across this before, this is basically pork fat, normally from the cheeks, that is mixed with Calabrian chilies. So we're gonna mix the Anduja and the beef together, season them a little bit, and we're just gonna squeeze this together, basically to form a burger. Bet you love that noise. So we're gonna shape this into a patty. So we want this to be kind of an oval shape, really. We're gonna be cooking this in the sliced bread. We're just gonna chill that down. It's gonna cook easier if it's chilled, and it's just gonna help it hold its shape a little bit more. Okay, so while the patty is chilling, we can get on with everything else and then we'll all come together at the end to form a delicious calorie-filled treat. So I've got one shallot here, and then we're gonna grab ourselves a cast iron pan. Now we want quite a thick bottom pan for this. About half a tablespoon of oil, good pinch of salt, and a little pinch of black pepper. So we're gonna pop this pan into Rockbox. Rockbox is at 500 degrees or 900 degrees Fahrenheit, if that's how you're rolling and we're gonna turn the flame down to its lowest settings. We're gonna cook these for about eight to 10 minutes, just so they soften up really nicely. They've caramelized down really nicely, but they've also started to char a little bit, so we've got a few crispy bits. And pop your skillet down. So we're gonna be using this skillet again. We're gonna be cooking everything in the one pan. It's a one pan wonder. And now we can get the patty. Okay, so give the skillet a little wipe out and pop it back into rock box. And now we're gonna turn the flame back up. I'm just gonna rub that with a little bit of oil. We don't need a lot. Okay, so our pan is lovely and smoking hot. We're just gonna pop that into the pan. And that can go straight back into rock box now. So after kind of two minutes, you'll see all this induja fat and all the fat in the beef has started to come out of the pan, and that is great. So a little flip over of the burger and straight back into rock box. Okay, so the patty's been in there for about four minutes now, so we can get him out. And you can see all that fat that's come out of the Anduja at the beef. So we've got two slices of white bread here, about half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard on each side. Okay, and then we've got our onions. Next up, we've got cheese. So I've got four slices of Emmental cheese. So I'm gonna put two on here. I've got 30 grams of blue cheese, just because this isn't rich enough, this isn't bad enough for us yet. So let's add more fat. The patty can go on now, pop him on top and give them a little squash down just to kind of fill that bread a bit more. It'll still be quite malleable, still quite soft because it's not cooked all the way through just yet. On top of that, we're gonna add our other two slices of Emmental cheese, our remaining blue cheese, so about 15 grams of blue cheese, and then we're gonna pop our lid on top and give them a squash down. Next up, we've got some softened butter. This pan should still be hot enough. So your buttered side, face down in the pan, and then butter that top exposed side exactly the same way. So this is now ready to go back into Rockbox and we're gonna turn it down again. If we cook this on the highest flame, we're just gonna burn the bread before the inside is cooked and the cheese is gooey and melted. So as the sandwich is cooking, just every now and again, just bring it out and give it a little squeeze down just to keep that shape. This final cook of the sandwich is gonna be in there for no more than three minutes. About halfway through the three minutes, so kind of 90 seconds, we're gonna flip the sandwich over. That has had the three minutes that started to crisp up really nicely on the outside. The fat and the induja mixing with the butter gives the most insane crust. Now just the magic bit, just the slicing of the sandwich and the eating of the sandwich, the most important part. An induja patty melt. We've made a really simple kind of burger as our patty, as our base, and then we've utilized Rockbox to cook that really quick, let the fat come out so we can cook the bread on top of the induja fat, cheese in there, onions in there, fat on fat on fat, layers and layers of flavour, and you will end up with one of the best snacks you will ever eat, although you might want to sleep afterwards. When you make this, hashtag Gosney Kitchen with your pictures on Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. We want to see your creations.